everybody, thank you for tuning into my channel. It's so good to be back. I have been taking pretty long breaks in between filming my videos, but I'm finally done my upgrading. For those of you that don't know, I had to go back and upgrade my grade 12 math so I could get into my degree program. And I have finished upgrading my math. I did not think that I could do it. I have never been good at math, and math has always been something that I've struggled with, but I managed to pass with a 96% average, which is so very exciting. So I reapplied for my degree program, and I'm waiting to hear the results to see if I'm accepted. I'm going back to school, hoping to go back to school, for psychology so I can become a clinical psychologist specializing in eating disorders. So I'm very, very excited about that. It's going to be a long journey, but I'm totally prepared for it. As I went through my math program, I struggled so hard with the belief that I couldn't do it. Now we are always telling ourselves and one another different stories about who we are. And one of the stories that I was telling myself as well as other people was that I wasn't good with numbers. From a really early age, I think about grade eight, my teachers noticed that I had a little bit more difficulty figuring numbers out. And so they put me in the remedial math class when, yeah, grade eight, when I was about 14, 13, 14 years old. So from grade eight to grade 11, I was in a modified math course. I was not doing the full course load. I didn't have to take grade 12 math to graduate. And so I ended up, the highest level of math that I ended up having was called math 21, not math 20, math 21, which maybe went up to fractions. I don't know, I was high for most of high school. So I really don't remember much of math at all. So when I found out that I had to have my grade 12 math, I really struggled with the idea of going back to school. In fact, I chose the personal training certificate program at Mount Royal University for the very reason that I didn't need high school math to get in. So I kind of structured my life around not having to have math because I believed that I was so bad at it and that I couldn't do it. When I saw a student advisor, and found out that I needed my math class to get into the degree to get into the degree program. I also found out that not only did I need my math class, but I also needed to get around an average of 84 to 86% between my two Englishes and my math marks. So altogether they had to equal a 3.4 to 3.6 GPA. No pressure which means I had to get around 89% overall in my math class in order to even be considered to get into the psychology degree. After I left the student advisor's office, I was so disheartened. I went home, I probably cried more often than I didn't cry over the three months of doing my math program. But the whole time I had my husband and my family and my friends encouraging me to keep going. I had to tell myself a different story about who I was and how smart I was and how I dealt with numbers. And so I put in more effort than I think I had even put in in getting my personal training certificate in university years ago. This was actually the most effort that I have probably ever put in. I started doing math and filling in all the gaps that I should have known from grade 11 too many years ago over the summer before my math course even started. So four months before my math course started, I sat down and did an average of at least two hours every single day of algebra and different math equations. Then my program came up and I spent three months throughout my program doing math. I spent a total of seven months 
doing math just so I could get the grade that I needed. So I put in the work, but the work was only half of the story. If I held on to the belief that I wasn't good at math, that I wasn't smart, that I wasn't going to make it, I wouldn't have. But I changed the story that I was telling myself. I told myself that I could do it, and every time I wanted to give up, I'd say a little prayer, I would thank God for the mind that he's given me, and I would continue to push on even when I didn't feel like I was going to make it. How many stories do we tell ourselves on a daily basis that keep us small, that keep us contracted, that keep us from going after what we really want to go after? I'm not smart enough, I'm not skinny enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not successful enough, I can't do this, I can't lose weight, I can't eat healthy, I can't go get that job, no one's going to want me as a partner. All of these different stories we tell ourselves and we make them true the more we speak them out and the more we live them out. In order to be successful in any area of our lives, we have to to change our mindset and the words that we're saying. So if you are a person, say, that doesn't like exercise, and you keep saying, I don't like exercise, I don't like exercise, I hate exercising, I don't wanna exercise, then you're probably never going to like exercise and it's probably never going to stick. Of course, there's different exercises that you might like a lot less than other ones. And maybe you don't do those ones, but you find things that you like and you change your attitude. If you're battling something right now in your life, check your attitude and your perspective first. Here's a cute little story about perspective. When I was 21 years old, I got braces. So I had braces as an adult. I had terribly crooked teeth, buck teeth when I was younger, struggled all through school with it being teased. When I got old enough and I could afford my own braces, I straightened my teeth out, but I was very self-conscious about having the full metal braces on. And one little girl looked at me and she goes, you got jewels on your teeth. And I was like, oh, here we go. And I was like, yeah, I do. And she looked at me and she said, they're beautiful. And I thought, you know what? They are beautiful and I paid for them. So that's just a cute little story on perspective. If we can change our perspective on something, we can change the outcome to suit how we want it to go. What stories are you telling yourself right now and what do you need to change about those stories so you become more successful? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will keep you updated on the status of my application and stay tuned for more videos. Have a good day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.